Getting away from it all, for many of us, is the whole point of the RV lifestyle. We want to get off the grid, but sometimes that can be a little inconvenient. We like to stay in touch with family and friends, and sometimes we need to stay connected with work. It can be a real conundrum. We often use our cell phones as our Wi-Fi hotspots, so we're going to install the King Extend LTE Cell Signal Booster. A cell booster, we should note, takes existing cellular signals and amplifies them to, we hope, give us usable signals in very difficult situations and make mediocre signals strong enough for data use. Cell boosters, the manufacturers are quick to point out, can't make a connection where there's absolutely no signal. Results will vary depending on what you ask it to do. Let's see if it gives us the freedom to get out there without getting completely away. As we unbox the King Extend, we're looking at the booster, the outside antenna and mounting bracket and hardware, the inside antenna, coax cables to make the connections between the antennas and the booster, and of course, installation instructions. We'll be adding some basic tools and supplies, such as self-tapping screws, some butyl tape for attaching the bracket to the roof, and some sealant. Definitely read the instructions all the way through. There are some troubleshooting situations you can probably avoid by taking extra care during the installation. Because we have a smaller trailer, for example, we need to be sure we can locate the antennas far enough apart to prevent a situation called oscillation so we get the best performance from this system. Firstly, I'm trying to keep the roof antenna close enough to the refrigerator vent so I can use that route for the cable, the way we did when we installed the solar system. That way we can avoid having to drill through the roof or the wall of our trailer. Through some trial and error, I determined I can place the internal antenna on the opposite corner of the RV and it will be far enough away from the roof antenna for optimal performance. The tricky part is getting that cable fished through the refrigerator vent and routed to the interior of the trailer. Fortunately, we'll be able to follow the same route as the solar cable. The trick here is getting it tucked into the corner with the solar cable so as not to create a hazard in that space. The coax fished through the vent and the vent cover back in place will attach the bracket to the roof. Apply the butyl tape to the bracket. Apply the bracket to the roof. Cover the screws and edges of the bracket with sealant. The roof antenna mounted and the cable fished through the vent, we're back on terra firma. And we'll push the coax inside via the same route we used for the solar. Inside, we'll bring that coax up through a closet to the space we're going to place the booster. From the booster, we'll route that 13 feet of coax for the internal antenna over to the front corner of the living area. In our case, we'll go under the dinette and through a storage space. And finally, let's plug her in and see how we do. Because we did the due diligence up front, we get that coveted solid green light on the booster and the holy grail of two additional bars on our cell signal. If you get red lights on the booster, there's a troubleshooting guide in the manual. The King Extend retails for $549, though it can be had for a bit less at Camping World and other sellers. Keeping in touch, even when we're in the boonies, is a godsend. And you know, the King Extend even gives us a stronger sense of security, knowing that we have a better chance of getting in touch with first responders, should we need to. If you want to catch some great articles about all things RV, please subscribe to Trailer Life or Motorhome Magazine, or visit us at TrailerLife.com and Motorhome.com. And please do subscribe to our channel, and feel free to leave your comments below. We love to hear what you think of our videos.